Hi guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new series onto this channel The first time we've ever done anything like this in terms of video form Today we are going to be starting the Bradford City career mode on FIFA 21 So if you are excited for this new series for the return of FIFA content on the channel Make sure you drop a like, I'm not really going to set a like target for these sort of videos Because I know it's not the main sort of content that you guys are interested in It's just a little bit of a bonus content that you'll either get on a Wednesday or a Thursday I'm going to learn this once a week uh, I'm going to try get them out every Wednesday But I'm not going to promise anything so bad about Wednesday or Thursday Every single week But yeah, the new series is here A brand new series First time we've ever done it this in a video form I'm new to all this sort of stuff um, So if everything's not quite perfect Effect, I'll try get it sorted for the next episode, but I can't promise anything as you know I'm all new to uh, this sort of stuff, but I'll try my best and hopefully after a couple of episodes It will all be perfect. I will try and make this a long long career mode I'm not sure how long it's gonna last for because I'm only doing it once a week We'll be playing about three games per episode as a rough death estimate There won't be that many in this episode as obviously, you know, I've got to set everything up all that sort of stuff, you know control the club, send players out, bring players in, you know, there won't be as much gameplay in this video. But yeah, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and let's get on with today's video. Alright, so we are going to go and create a new career. We'll see how this goes in today's video. Uh, we'll download the latest squads. I've not played career mode at all in FIFA 21. I've just been grinding on my team. You know, I've been doing that over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. But we're going to set up a manager career mode here. See how we can do. See how far I can take us before inevitably. Jesus Christ, is that the Undertaker? We'll pick the Undertaker. Undertaker's carrying us to glory. What's our name going to be? Nothing over dramatic, just my actual name. We'll advance through. Uh, we'll be picking Bradford City. Domestic success is critical. Continental success is very low. Brand exposure, financial, and youth development are all low as well. Decent transfer budget. Um, not much info. There couldn't really be asked given as much info. But yeah, we'll advance through. We'll wait for the career mode to set up. We're going to be starting. I'm going to play on professional. I'm not the best at FIFA. Never really have been. Five minute halves as well. Uh, Sterling. Uh, loose, yep, that's all fine by me. We're all good to go there. We'll play on professional if it gets too easy or if it gets too hard, we can just adjust it accordingly. But professional, I think, is a difficulty that I'm comfortable with playing on at this moment in time. Obviously, we will hopefully eventually move up into world class. Football is back. So I think pre-season, you know, it's an easy way to get some more money into the bank. If we go for this one, we could be getting over a million pounds. I'm not sure how much that actually goes into the transfer budget, but 1.1 million, you know, there's not really that many good teams in there. I reckon we can probably at least get out of the group stage. So I accept the invitation for that. Don't really see a point in not accepting an invitation. It's basically free money, you know, even if you play your reserves and you lose every game. Right, this is my first taste of career mode in FIFA 21. Drake, number one. Drake at the helm. I love the hat there. Let's see what the targets are for this season. We've got a youth academy report. What is this? I'm not really interested in a tutorial. Uh, so we've already got some players in here. This guy looks decent. From Morocco, 59 rated at 17. A dot Yakin. Yakin, he can play centre mid or cam. Not great potential, but not awful. This guy's got some decent potential. So do you just get players automatically now? We've got Theodore Hull, who doesn't look great, but he's got alright potential. Um, I guess we'll leave them for now, but that's nice. Right, vision and expectations. What do they want from us this season? Uh, get 25 games without defeating home matches this season. How many home games do you even have? I swear you only have 23 home games. Oh, I assume that's got to include the cup as well. Jesus, that's hard. So they want us to gain automatic promotions or finish in the top three, reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup and keep players salary growth under 30%. Right, that's fine, we'll be able to do that. Very, very high expectations of setting up us here. Not really interested in all that sort of stuff. Um, it's said that we've got some training to do. I know training's changed a little bit this year. What is it like? So it just does it for us and you can have more than three players. I don't really know what I'm doing here. We'll just simulate them, see how they do. They all got D's, oh dear, that's not great. So they lost 10 fitness, but they gained 2 sharpness, so that's decent. If anyone has any tips, please make sure to get them down in the comments below. It would be massively appreciated. Right, we're in. Let me build the team that I want to go with this season, and then I will catch you guys in a second. Staunton's a left back. Don't think he's ever played left back for us. Sikara, I thought he was a centre back. Okay, Shanks is a right mid. Two star skin with 24 defending. Hey, he's fast though. Okay, that's interesting. We will have to be sending some of these players out on loan. What formation do I want to go with, though? 
Alright, so this is the squad that I have decided to go with. We're going with the 3 4 1 2. We've got O'Donnell in goal. I'm leaving him with the captain's armband for this season. Antin O'Connor at right centre back, Paudi O'Connor at central centre back, and Reese Starton at left centre back. I'm going to convert him back to a centre back as his main position. I definitely get him, him on the training because he's got some decent pace and physical stats, but yeah, 39 passing. That's just so stupid. I'm going to convert Connor Wood to a left mid. Uh, we've got Levi Sutton and Elliot Watt in the midfield. We've got Zelly Ishmael on the right. Uh, we've got Gareth Evans in cam and we've got Novak and the main man himself, Clayton Donaldson, up front. On the bench we've got Clark, Guthrie, Cook, Pritchard, Richards Everton, Hosanna and Hornby. And then we've got Longridge, Motley Henry, French, Sikora, Shanks, Scales and Cousin Dawson all down on the bench. So that is the team that I'm planning to go for. I'm not really too sure if I'm going to make many transfers to start with. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try and get us Austin Samuels, but I'm not really too sure if he is on the game or not. Uh, right, so I want to convert Staunton back to a centre half, if that's possible. I think this is where, the way I need to go. It is. So, how do I change position? That one, RT. Yeah, I want to convert him. Oh dear, it's a bit laggy. Convert him back to a centre back. It's only going to take him two weeks, which is fine. And how do we want to play him though? Oh, he's currently, yeah, so he's currently training to be um, something different than what he already is. So, wait till he converts back to the centre-back before we start changing his stats. Connor Wood, we do want to convert to a left-mid, so he can have left-back, left-wing-back and left-mid all available. But I think this is the formation that I do want to go with. It might take him a while, but I don't think it'll take him that long. I'm um, guessing about, you know, should be done by Christmas, maybe. 11 weeks, so not that long. So, yeah, I guess we're pretty, pretty close there. Um... That will take him too long, and obviously if he's happy, he's playing well, um, that will do it quicker. Anyone else that I'm really interested in converting in, I'm happy with keeping French as a right back. Maybe I could convert him to a right mid. Mm, I think we'll leave it for now. Uh, Pritchard, I don't really see him getting much game time, to be honest with you. Cook, again, don't really see him getting much game time. Skills can play right back, I did not know that. Gareth Evans, I think he'd be a good one to be able to convert to a different position. Um, it'd be nice to be able to drop him back to centre mid. Um, actually, I don't think I really want to change his position, to be honest with you. But what do we want to improve on him? How? What sort of player do we want to play him as? Attacking midfielder? Yeah, we'll play him as that. Um, any other players that I really want to change position for? I might make Shanks a centre mid. Uh, I might make him a cam, actually. So I feel like that's where he plays more in real life. He plays more centrally in real life than he does on the wing. So I'll convert him to a cam. Um... How long is that going to take him? 85 weeks, nearly two years. Okay, then, sure. I don't even know if he's going to be at the club by the time that's finished converting, but we'll leave him on there anyway. We'll leave all of them here. I want to convert Billy Clark to a, a cam as he's a natural role. So that's where he plays in real life. So we'll convert him to that, but, you know, he does have that already as a position, so I don't think it'll take him too long for him to do that. As I said, there won't be much gameplay in this episode. I am just looking to set everything up. So it's only going to take him five weeks to convert back to a cam. That's fine by me. Let's have a look then to see if Austin Samuels is on the game. I'll try to get him on loan. He's not on the game. Okay, so I don't really know what to do about that. I think we're going to advance now into the first game of the new series. We've got a decent little budget there. We've got to remember, though, about the expectations. They're very high for this season. Um, we don't really have a natural goal scorer. We've got Novak. But, he, you know, he needs about three or four chances before he's going to score a goal. So, not really too sure how this is going to go. We will advance forward now. We've got some transfer offers, right? I definitely don't want to let Connor Wood go. Connor Wood is a player that we have to keep at all costs. Again, we've got another one of these. Um, 1.3 million is nowhere near the value that I want for him. Ishmael, again, he's one of our better players. I'm not really interested in letting him go. So, I will just reject that offer. If we can get maybe an offer for, like, between, you know, a million and 1.5, I might accept that for Ishmael. But at the moment, I'm not really looking to offload Ishmael. Greetings boss, on behalf of the whole team I wanted to welcome you to Bradford City. Uh, we've got plenty of work to do, I think that's very realistic, but let's just see O'Donnell, the captain, coming to speak to me. Right, we can quick sim training, not really interested in training too much, or we'll reduce some fitness, but we'll increase some sharpness and morale, that sort of stuff. Bradford City future bright with Jake at the he Drake at the helm. Interesting. Anyway, first game of the brand new career mode is now upon us let's get into it so we're playing sc verl i'm not really too sure what league they're in i've never really heard of them before to be honest with you um do i want to make any changes to this team 
Let me have a look. Who do I want to bring in? I think I'll bring Cook in for Sutton, maybe for the first game. And we'll have a bit of experience. We'll put Richards Evan in for Staunton. Happy to do that. Um, and we'll also give... Who do you want to give a game? I think we'll give Key and Skills a game. Why not? We'll put Key and Skills in instead of Elliot Watt. Just let Watt rest up a little bit. Um, yeah, I know we've not played a game yet, but I'm more than happy to put him in there. I want to do a simulation so we're able to watch the game. I'm not really interested in playing pre-season games, to be honest with you. I might play if we get into the final. But there you can see the two teams. I think they might be in the Austrian League as a little bit of a guess. Maybe the Polish League. I'm not too sure. Apologies if I offended you. I just don't really know much about their side. That is the team we're going to go with, though. We made a couple of changes from the team that I would usually like to go with. But there we go. Novak gets us underway. Hopefully, we can get the win. Great counter-attacking football from Amir. 27's in. Paul Delcon's done well to push him wide. He's come inside though now. He's gone to 11. To 30. To 31. It's another great save by Richard O'Donnell. He was offside anyway, but it's a great save from him. Anthony O'Connor goes up to Novak. Flicked on. And that is half time. They've had two shots, two chances, 55% of the ball. We've not had any shots or chances. And anyway, it's 0-0 nil -nil at half time. We definitely are on the back foot here. I think we will we'll make a couple of changes. I think you can make as many changes as you want in pre-season. So we will make some changes now. I think we'll get Sutton on for scales. Pritchard on for Cook. And we'll... Hosanna can play centre-back. That's nice. We'll also get Guthrie on for Novak. And that's how we will start with the second half. We'll make a couple of changes. You know, we can always make some more changes going into the second half if need be. But pre-season is more just about gaining fitness for me. I'm not really too interested in how we do, to be honest with you. It's just about, you know, gaining fitness, gaining morale, all that sort of stuff. Pritchard on the ball. Gives it into 17. Back to Pritchard. I think that's Gareth Evans. Plays it into the Guthrie. Guthrie with a shot there. We've had our first shot of the game. It's a good save by their goalkeeper. They look to counter-attack here, but that's an easy ball for O'Donnell to collect. SC Villa doing well here. Good tackle though from Paudi O'Connor. Can we get a goal in the last minute here? Staunton, we're not. The referee is blown for full time. It's finished 0 0. SC Villa were definitely the better side in that game, but it's finished 0 0. We managed to get a point in the first game as new manager. Obviously, we did play a lot of second string players, so overall, I'm happy with that. I'm not really too sure what sort of ratings SC Villa players are, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm happy with how we played. Nothing has happened since the last game. We're now going to go into our second game of pre-season against, was it Magdeburg? I'm not really too sure how you pronounce that, but we've got a fully fit side. I might just go with this team. I might make a couple of changes. I'm not too sure. I think we might, I think I'll bring Motley Henry in this game um, for Ishmael. I'll do that. And then I'll also bring... Uh, who do I want to bring in? We don't, we're not really playing with full backs, so I don't really want to bring any of these lads in. We can maybe bring Tyler French and he can play at centre back instead of... Actually, we'll put him on the bench instead of Hosanna. That's all we'll do. I'm also going to play Clark over Novak from the start. Why not? Make a couple changes there. We'll get into this game. Hopefully we can get the win this time. But, oh my god, we're playing Kai Brunker. I've just realised we are playing Kai Brunker. Kai Brunker is playing up front for Magdeburg. How did I forget this is a new club? Oh my god, Kai Brunker returns. Well, I wasn't really commentating because I didn't think we were going to concede from a corner. But Bell Bell has scored for Magdeburg and we go 1-0 down. The last thing I expected with the size of this team was to concede from a corner. And we've gone and conceded from a corner. Apologies for no commentator there. But we are 1-0 down. We've got another chance here. Ball in the box. Great block by Reece Staunton though. And that's half time. We're 1-0 down. Very, very poor half. We've only had 27% of the ball. That is absolutely shocking. I'm going to make a couple of substitutions here. Because it just doesn't seem to be working. I might even change formation to be honest with you. We'll go to the 4-4-2 flat. We'll see what we can do with it now. Evans can't really play in centre mid, so we'll bring Cook on, and we'll also bring Evans, we'll keep Evans on actually, he can play a left mid, and this is the team that we'll go with for the second half. We've changed formation, hopefully we can have a change of result. Brunker has the ball, but it's a good tackle. Have we given a penalty away? I think we've given a penalty away. We have. Oh my god, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to save the penalty, trust me. I'm going to save it. We're not, we're not facing Kai Brunker, thankfully, but I'm going to save the penalty. Oh, they've hit the bar. And they've not scored the rebound. We're jumping straight back out. I, 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 I feared them off. I feared them off. We want to see them at rest of the match. I, I scared them. I scared them off. They've missed the penalty. Thank God for that. I think it's time to make some substitutions. I'm going to bring the rest of my subs on. We'll get Novak on. We'll get Guthrie on. We'll get Ishmael on. We'll get Pritchard on. Who else have we still got to bring on? We'll get French on. We'll get 
uh, Richard Everton on, and that's it. That's all the subs. Let's get them all on. Hopefully they can all make a difference next time the ball goes out of place. So now he's about to Pritchard into Novak, flicked onto Evans, into Reece Staunton. You got to find the man. Go back to Gareth Evans into Guthrie. Back to Gareth Evans. Novak. Oh my God! In the 92nd minute, Novak's missed. How have you done that, Novak? Go on, Novak. And again, Pritchard. Shoot. Oh, he's put it straight at the goalkeeper, Zeli Ishmael. What are you doing? Oh, and that's going to be the end of the game. We've lost 1 0. Oh my god. How? How have we not scored right at the end there? How have we not scored? We can see the table there. We are currently bottom of the table. We need to hope SC Burl beat Mad Majdeberg and we beat Sanderford and then we'll go through. That's the only way that we'll go through. It's very unlikely that we are going to go through, but this will be the final game of the episode. We've got a transfer for Richards Everton. That is something I'm, I can listen to. He's 28 and we're going to get half a million for him. Let's see if we can try to squeeze that a little bit more. If we can get maybe 750, I think that would be big. We'll try. I'm more than happy to sell Richards Everton. Yeah, Dharma Traor has gone to Juventus. Very, very interesting is that. I think we're going to go with my full strength side. I'm just going to go with the highest rate in all the positions because that's what I need. Gareth Evans is looking a little bit tired. Alright, so this is the team that I'm going to go with. I brought Cook in for what? Richards Everton in for Staunton and Clark in for Donaldson. They're the only changes that I've made. Hopefully we can get a win. We need a win in this game. Let's see if we can get the job done. We've scored! I was looking at my phone. Oh my god. I have no idea how we've scored. Once again, I do apologise. I was looking at my phone. I got a text message. Oh my god, we've scored. Very, very unprofessional from me there. It's not going to happen again. I'd like to apologise to the fans, but we're winning the game. Part the bus, every man behind the ball. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Get the ball out. 15, goes back to 21, into 4, to 7, to 22. He's completely unmarked. He's hit the post on the first time, and then on the rebound, he's put it in the back of the net. That's what I get for saying it's too easy. Very, very poor play back from us. Awful defending. Maybe this formation is not the one. Wood, good ball in. Yes, it's in the back of the net. Lee Novak gets his second goal of the game. Let's go, Lee Novak. He's finally scoring chances. He's finally finishing them. And Lee Novak gets his second goal of the game. This is what we need. We need a win. If we're winning this game, that's the minimum we can do. We've got to hope that SC, whatever the new team was, do the business against Brunker's team. That is it then. Half time. We're two. We're not. We've both had the same amount of chances. We've had an extra shot and they've had more of the ball. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to get straight into the second half. Hopefully we can hold out here. I know it's only a pre-season friendly, but hopefully we can hold out. Just wide. We're going to make some substitutions now. Gareth Evans is looking absolutely shafted. So we're going to put Clark in at number 10 and we're going to bring the big Don on. We're also going to take Sutton off for Elliot Watt. And I'm also going to bring on um, Staunton for Paudi O'Connor. And then we'll put Staunton left centre back and Richard Evans in the middle. Hopefully that works. Go on. Great play. Donaldson finish. Yes! Clayton Donaldson gets his first goal for the club. What an icon. He makes it 3-1. Surely we've got the three points now. The super sub, Clayton Donaldson, gets his first goal since I've taken over as manager. You absolutely love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Let's make a couple more changes now. I think the game is pretty won. So we'll bring Hornby on. We'll bring Guthrie on. We'll bring Pritchard on. Who else do we want to bring on? We've got Hosanna as well. We'll bring Hosanna on. He says he can play centre back, but apparently not really. Anyway, that's the team that we're going to go with for the final 15 minutes here. I swear to God, City, if we don't hold out here. And there we have it. It's full time. We won 3-1. I'm not sure if that will be enough for us to progress through to the next stage. Let's have a look now. It just depends. No, Magdeburg beat SC Verl. And we're out. At least we didn't finish bottom. We finished third. It'll give us some more money. Who knows? what we're gonna do wait we did go through what we've got 270 grand Richard Evans not going anywhere and our immediate final scout requires come back but we've gone through um maybe on goal difference I have no idea our immediate is 62 rated at 21 years of age we'll try get him on loan they don't want him to go out on loan, and I don't really want to buy him. Not for that price. I don't understand why his value is so high. We'll 
see if we can find another striker. I'm writing to let you know we're pleased to, with Reece Tottenham's continuing development. We think he's probably ready now to switch positions and be tried as a centre back. How do I make this a thing? How do I make him a centre back? How do I make it a done deal? Why to change position? Let's go. Reece Thornton is now naturally a centre back, which is brilliant. I don't know how I really want to play him. Probably as a ball playing defender. I've unlocked an achievement. But I think I want to play him as a ball playing defender. That is what he plays as in real life. I think his pace is completely fine. Apologies for the achievement being so loud there. And we also, if you were seeing it there, we've got a transfer for the Jackson Longridge. I'm not sure if I want to let him go out on a permanent or not. 20, he's 25, Jesus. He's getting on a little bit. Do we have a backup left back? I don't think we do. Stockton can play there, but I want him to be my first choice centre back. But is he really going to get game time ahead of Connor Wood? That's the thing. They've offered his value. Let's, let's negotiate with him. Let's negotiate. See if we've got any players. But I don't really know if we can do that. We can add a player in. Um, player swap. Need a striker. See, I don't know any of their ratings, you see. I don't, like, we don't know any of their ratings, so I don't think... I mean, we could take one of their left-backs. Our only left-back is 30. Let's see what they say to this. Submit new offer. Oh, not and 100. Oh, yeah, and 180 grand. Well... Whatever we did, they weren't happy with it. They've stormed out and Longridge will remain at the club. I will need to go through and actually add place to the loan list and transfer list respectively. I will do that now. Um, we'll probably do a time lapse of that. But yeah guys, that is where I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, if you could drop a like on it, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. The next episode of this should be out next Wednesday. I really, really enjoyed recording this. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it just as much as I have. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. It's taken me an hour and a half to record this. So I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. Let me know down in the comments below any tips, any advice that you guys have. Any plays you want me to potentially sign. All that sort of stuff. It would be massively, massively appreciated. And I'll see you all guys in the next video. Peace.